it's item 21, which is a um, report and an authorization for a uh, letter to adopt a position in opposition to SB 246. It's the oil and gas severance tax. Mr. Uh, Alsop. Yeah, thank you, Mr. Chairman, members of the board. Uh, Mr. Thomas Brown of my office will handle this item. Thank you. Good afternoon, Mr. Chairman and members of the board. The item before you is a response to a referral regarding introduction of Senate Bill 246, which would levy a 10% severance tax on the average price of every barrel of oil and unit of gas extracted in the state of California. These new tax revenues would be appropriated in the state general fund. Your board has vehemently opposed every attempt by the legislature to pass any form of oil and gas severance tax. In our view, Fairness argues that funding for programs operated throughout California should be borne by as broad a population as possible. Yet the impact of the proposed oil and gas severance tax would fall almost entirely on the livelihoods and public welfare of Kern County. Since Kern produces approximately 72% of California's crude oil and 70% of the state's natural gas, this proposed quote unquote statewide severance tax would fall chiefly on Kern County businesses, employees, and local government entities that derive substantial revenues from the petroleum industry. As your board is keenly aware, the county is currently in year three of our four-year deficit mitigation plan. Absorbing the $44.5 million loss in oil and gas property tax revenue that resulted from the rapid decline in the market value of oil has placed a significant strain on county services. Additional reductions in property tax revenue from our oil and gas producers spurred on by the proposed severance tax would further erode the county's fiscal health and may prove to be insurmountable in our mission to provide basic services to our residents. Over 21,000 current residents are directly employed by oil and gas producers and another 40,000 residents are employed thanks to the indirect and induced impacts of the oil and gas industry. The industry contributes around $14 billion to the local economy and accounts for nearly 22% of Kern's total GDP. Local impacts aside, nearly 96% of vehicle miles traveled in California are powered by fossil fuels. California is the second largest consumer of petroleum products in the nation and the largest consumer of mo motor gasoline and jet fuel. Those traveled miles are literally the driving force that keeps California's economy moving forward. The proposed severance tax will not only impact the price we pay at the pump and the price we pay to heat our homes and cook our food, it will also adversely impact consumer costs for routine goods and services throughout the state. Ironically, the author of the, of the bill, Senator Bob Wykoski, has promoted a quote unquote made in California jobs initiative which aims to expand California manufacturing by investing in and fighting for small businesses. California already imports a large portion of its oil from foreign countries and some from Alaska to meet our demand. It is astounding, therefore, that the senator can claim to be a champion of local job creation and the overall health of California's economy in one instance, and then actively threaten the livelihood of thousands of Californians in another. It is abundantly clear that the senator and his staff have not given their full attention and due diligence to the far-reaching economic impacts of SB 246. Furthermore, every Californian deserves the opportunity to provide a living for their families, no matter what industry they work in, and regardless of which region of the state they call home. This concludes staff's prepared comments. The recommended action is for your board to adopt a position in opposition to SB 246 and authorize the chairman to sign correspondence to the appropriate officials. Thank you, Mr. Brown. Uh, open it up to the public. Is there anyone here that would like to make a statement on this item? Seeing none, I'll return it to the board and I would just thank you for your work. Um, I'd ask for a motion um, in support of staff's recommendation and a recognition. People, I think a lot of people don't realize is that these oil producing properties pay property tax year after year after year. Um, and this would be a tax just when the oil is taken out of the ground uh, of 10%. So. And those oil producing properties, I should, I should also go on to say, are extremely important to the budget of Kern County. Motion to oppose, or motion to adopt a position in opposition. Second. You have a motion and a second. Please cast your votes. Excuse me, the motion is approved. All ayes. Thank you.